The Gemara in Sanhedrin, Dav Tzadik Ches, page 98, describes different names of Mashiach. These different names, according to some commentaries, reflect various qualities that Mashiach will have. One of the names of Mashiach is that he's called a Metzayre, he's called a Chivre de Beirav. He's a lep- somebody that has leprosy from the house of Rebbe, and the Gemara brings a Pasuk for this, how Mashiach is afflicted and suffers the God with the Jewish people. And in continuation of that Gemara, the Gemara discusses various people that were able to be Mashiach, potential Mashiachs, will be Mashiach, according to some opinions, Rabbi Yudah Nasi and Daniel, who the reason why they were picked as candidates to be Mashiach, one of the reasons is because they suffered a lot during their lifetime. So we see that there's this quality of suffering which is connected with Mashiach. What is this idea of Mashiach suffering? So there's a few aspects over here. First of all, there's the aspect of that physically, this in every generation is a potential Mashiach. And he accepts suffering upon himself in order to alleviate the sins of the Jewish people. It actually is a very interesting medish which discusses how Mashiach tells Hashem that he's ready to suffer for the Jewish people in order that no Jew should be left behind, in order that no person should miss out from the redemption. So Mashiach accepts, he, as somebody that participates with the pain of the Jewish people, he accepts upon himself the, the, these ailments in order to, to um, alleviate the suffering of the Jewish people, to hasten the redemption. As the Gemara describes the story of Rabbi Shul ben Levi once met the Leo Anavin, he wanted to know when Mashiach will come, so he told him to go to Mashiach, and he asked, how will he know where Mashiach, who Mashiach is? He told him where to go. He says he will see that he's sitting amongst people and he's bandaging his wounds, which in a very basic, simple level means that Mashiach suffers physically in order to atone for the sins of the Jewish people. On a deeper level, or not, not as a contradiction, but as well, there's that concept that Mashiach suffers, he anguishes for the pain of the Jewish people. He's, his whole purpose is to redeem the Jewish people. Every single second of the Jewish people are in exile, so he suffers in great, great pain and immense suffering from the fact that he cannot redeem the Jewish people. In that light, the Zayar and other Midrashim discuss how Mashiach, he's, he's in Gan Eden, his soul is in Gan Eden, and he's crying and suffering from the fact that we're still in exile, and how the souls in Gan Eden are comforting Mashiach, that he should be know that, 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 that the end of days is, is, is arriving, he shouldn't, he should be comforted, he should be consoled. So he's suffering simply because he can't wait when he will come to redeem the Jewish people. What does this all mean to us? So pra- one of the simple practical applications this teaches us is we have the Dara Chaim HaKadosh Rites and Parshas Pinchas that we're supposed to feel the pain of Mashiach. Even if we might think the life is good for us personally, we have to feel the pain of other Jewish people that are in exile. And also particularly to feel and identify with the pain of Mashiach who is suffering on our behalf, and if we would realize that the, 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 the anguish that Mashiach has, that he's, he's, he's stuck, he didn't yet get the green light to go ahead and redeem the Jewish people, this will propel us to, to increase our Torah mitzvahs, to increase our, our longing for Mashiach, our anticipation of Mashiach, our talking about Mashiach. Shem Shalom, we should merit the coming of Mashiach, take it from Yad Ma'am, speedily nowadays, Amen.